If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on blog comments for your Squarespace website. All right, I am here in my Sway template for service providers. If you are looking to jumpstart your website design, I'll drop a link to my template shop below. And I'm going to show you how to turn on blog comments on your post. So on this blog, I have some demo posts here. And as you can see, there's no comments. Those are turned off. So how do you turn them on? Now, you might think it would be in blog settings, but it's not. So let's hop back to the main area of your website. And we're going to go down here into the cog icon settings. And if you scroll down, there is a setting called blog preferences. Now, Squarespace loves to move things around. So let me show you another way to get there. If you click the forward slash key on your keyboard when you're logged into your website, it's the same key as the question mark key. And you start typing in blog, then you're going to get the option to go directly to blog preferences. And there are other settings here, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to be looking at the comments settings. And to turn them on, you click enable comments globally. And you can see when I did that, I got a lot of other options. Now, the most important of these are, do you want to require approval? So whenever someone comments, do you want it to come to your email first and you approve it before it shows up on your website? I typically leave this off. You can decide if you want to allow or disallow anonymous comments, threaded comments. Do you want commenters to be able to respond to other comments? Do you want to show avatars? And do you want to enable comments by default when posting? So from here forward, any post that you create would have comments enabled by default. And then here you can sort the comment order. So newest first, oldest first, most liked, least liked. You can also auto disable comments after a certain amount of time. So if a blog post is more than 80 days old, up to 100 days, you can auto disable comments. And another thing that I like to have on is allow comment flags. So if you don't have on require approval, what you can do is let other users moderate it so they can flag a comment for moderation. And once it is flagged, then it automatically goes to awaiting moderation and you will get an email about that. So you can set the number of flags. So if it gets one flag, then it's going to go to awaiting moderation. So we've turned them on in settings. Let me go ahead and save this and I will hop back to our blog. And you'll notice it's still not here. That's because these were already published. So what we can do is we can edit this post and get into post settings. Now there are multiple ways to get there too. This is a quick way once you're inside the post. And if you go to options, you can turn on comments. And there's an option here to disable comments never or after a scheduled date and time, but I'm going to just leave them on and exit. And now you can see people can leave comments on your blog post. So for any posts that you've already published before turning on comments, you'll need to go in and toggle that on manually. But for posts going forward, let's just do a really quick post here. Just say test. And you can already see the comments box is enabled automatically on all new blog posts because we selected that option. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>